Welcome to this week's edition of Connective TV. I'm Michael Gurner. Well, we've got a bit to get through this week, but first of all, I'd just like to mention being with Connective and working in the business, we know that our products are great. We always say that they're great. Um, but this week, I actually had to use Connective plant and equipment. Um, needed to get a car loan and uh, got one of our brokers to do the quote and uh, do the application. And I can't tell you how simple that process was. So if you haven't taken out uh, or joined up to Connective Plant and Equipment, please contact your broker support manager and get them to turn on Connective Plant and Equipment for you and you'll see how easy it is to do those finance transactions. So without further ado, let's get to Coxie with all the lending info. <laughs> The Rock Building Society increased their two and three year fixed rates back on the 13th of April last across their product range. Westpac Bank will be writing to a select group of variable investment property loan customers to encourage them to consider taking out interest in advance loans in 2012. They have also launched fixed rates on their self managed super fund investment property loans. These loans are not available through the broker channel and must be referred to local business banking managers. Contact your BDM for more information. They've also launched a new serviceability calculator. Bank of Melbourne, Bank SA and St George Bank, effective 16th of April 2012, reduced the one, two and three year fixed rate to just 5.99% for loans taken under the Advantage package. These rates are in conjunction with the $700 refinance rebate. They also reduce fixed rates on other products. Adelaide Bank has reduced their fixed rates effective from the 18th of April 2012. ANZ Bank increased their variable rates by 0.06% effective from the 20th of April 2012. Home loans increase the variable rate on their ProSmart SMSF loan by 0.20% effective from the 16th of April 2012 and decrease the fixed rates on their Money Power product range from the 18th of April. Provident Capital has decreased their one to five year fixed rates effective from the 18th of April 2012 on both their premium and low doc loan product range. Australian First Mortgage reminds us they have self-managed super fund loans up to 70% LVR at competitive rates. And for Victorian brokers, they are running a seminar on Tuesday the 1st of May at Caulfield Racecourse to discuss the benefits of their Super Shift affiliate. Connective Home Loans has introduced one and two year fixed rates on the Connective Option Home Loan. Police and Nurses has decreased the, the three year fixed rate to 5.99% and five year fixed rate to 6.50% per annum effective Friday the 20th of April 2012. AMP Bank has sent through their weekly service update for this week, which we have included in the weekly bulletin. I talked earlier about connective plant and equipment. Just want to let you know that there is a commercial low dock product available, which is 7.20%. The, the vehicle needs to be for business use. They need to have clean credit and they basically need to own their own home and have 20% available to put into the purchase. So that's a really great product there and a simple one for connective plant and equipment. A lot of information there from the lenders. Just a reminder that don't forget, those, that information from the lenders is in more detail in the weekly bulletin that comes out and into your inbox every Friday afternoon. So keep an eye out for that. Just a reminder too that spots are filling really fast for the May PD days. Um, special guest speaker there, Max Walker. So make sure you get in fast and register for the May PD day. That's all from Connective TV this week. I'm Michael Gurner. Goodbye.